Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hey Jude family. Hi. Again, it's us. Welcome back to a new episode. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today we are going to talk about attachment, uh, detachment, emotional, emotional um, affections, yeah. all of this, you know, uh, because I personally have a lot to say. I don't know, Alex, for you. I think I'm going. I'm going to react. Oh, okay, like. But um, I think I also have things to say. Don't don't worry. Okay, I'm not worried. Okay, okay, okay. So, how are you? I am good. Uh, we're in July, which means we are in vacation. Exactly. And um, yeah. And I, I just have to say because we're recording on Zoom. Like we we are in the same room. Yeah, let's talk about this. <laughs> but we are crying, and I think we're beautiful. Just to say, like that. we're looking at ourselves. Yeah, and just like yeah, and I think we're beautiful. That's just we are. So the people cannot see us, but we I have masks. Say. So yeah, because we're being careful here. Yeah, COVID nineteen. Ooh, um, it's our guest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I think we're beautiful. That's just it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start the podcast on that note. Yeah, I'm okay. Just if, in case you you ask, I'm okay. Oh uh, my god! <laughs> I always forgot to ask. How are you? I'm sorry. How are you, Leslie? I'm doing great. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's begin. First question, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When do you knew you were attached to someone? Okay. If you are, maybe you don't like anyone on this planet, <laughs> and that's the end of the episode. The end of the episode. Yeah. No, uh, I don't think you know when you are attached to someone. It's just you get attached and then you go on with your life. I don't think so. I realize when I get attached. You realize when oh, you get yeah. attached. I'm like, oh, that's the beginning of shitty things. But uh, yeah, because oh yeah, let's talk about it because. I just said like shitty things because we think like being attached is is good but it can be dangerous like we're kind of scared of it are you scared of being attached yeah honestly yeah yeah why oh uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> uh why am i scared to get attached to people because sometimes you like you meet toxic pe people yeah not for my case i don't I'm touching wood right now. Uh, all, all my friends are great. They are not toxic, so it's okay. But um, I think uh, I'm protecting myself sometimes. Mm. That is why when I meet new people, I tend to like observe. And then even if I talk to them for a long time, I don't get attached because I know that, I don't know, anything can happen. Mm. So, but that doesn't mean I'm not attached to anyone. That is not what I'm saying because of course, I am attached to my friends. I am attached to my family. Not all of my family, of course, because I don't live with all of my family. <laughs> that is normal. <laughs> But yeah, I think people that are scared to get attached is because they are pro protecting themselves from past and bad experiences. Because if we thought, if we think, sorry, of this, it's because you have experienced trauma, trauma yeah, in your past adventurous life, I don't know, that you react in a certain way right now. So that is why people are saying you don't need to judge, like you don't, like don't judge people for what they are now because you don't know what they've been through. And I understand that because a lot of, yeah, a lot of people, um, they react a certain way sometimes to something, something you say and you don't really know why, but then when you get to know i'm really sorry for that noise i'm on my yoga ball <laughs> and then you realize when you talk with them it's because they have been traumatized by something and uh yeah so that is my little um, observation so have you ever experienced trauma for being like that right now no because so you're you're just it's your personality it's just that i think when i was younger i realized that <laughs> that's so what you're gonna, uh, no, I'm gonna think that. i'm really crazy but i think when i realized people die were dying you know 
I was like, oh my God, I don't want to get attached because I'm scared these people is going to die, you yeah. know? And uh, there's a freaking bug. And um, I don't know when I realized that. So you, you realize really young that you can die. Every person that you meet in your life, they can die. No, it's yeah, they can die. They will die. Um, it's just uh, that you meet someone and you know it's temporary. Yeah, that's the thing. And um, also, my parents they always told me like it's okay to be alone and um, like you're born. I don't have a twin, so I'm born as a single child, you know, anyway. Mm -hmm. So you just need to take care of you before taking care like of the other, you know, that is not in a selfish way, of course. I know, it's like you are the only one who live with yourself yes. during your entire life. Only you can save you yeah. in a way. Oh my God, that's, so... that, that's deep, but I don't, do you understand what yeah, I'm I saying? Know. Like you're zero years old you're alone yeah and you're 99 you're alone yeah that's that's the thing i have in my head okay and uh oh when i yeah i told you when i was eight i realized that people ca can die <laughs> that's so sad it's not can it's not the right word <laughs> it's people will will be dying and um i think yeah so in a way i did traumatize myself yeah no alone. one <laughs> yeah alone like i didn't get to leave it like you have a hopefully. quote you have a quote every morning you you've read and you're like everybody's gonna die <laughs> <laughs> so so i don't know why i realized that at eight you know so That's okay i need to think because i re i know i remember that day i think when you are a child you you are really interested i don't know i was you were um uh you are really interested by the death thing like you're like it's it's weird you know you leave and one day you're gonna die yeah i was asking I questions uh, so when i was ch a child i was like why <laughs> you know what it's it's weird i don't know so i can understand and i think that because I, it was at night I think that night I was like, so you're born and then you die and, yeah. but everything for like all of this for what, you know, all of this for what that is, <laughs> that is, that is exactly what I thought when I was young and I thought it, uh, I thought about it every single night. I thought about us. Okay. That's weird. Uh, I thought about us on the planet. Yeah. And so I did like it like not zoom the contrary like de zoom it's it's in french i think so but um i don't know how to say this in english but yeah yeah you... like i think about me my family and then i think about human race and it was yeah. like and i was like it's weird you know to think about it like 200 years ago we were here yeah. and we're still here but, why? but we're different and life is temporary okay we yeah we it's not the subject yeah but, yeah. but now you know why yeah I'm everybody it, everybody it. and everything is temporary but yeah, time well, is your best friend <laughs> or your worst nightmare so what is your um not opinion but yeah what's what, your about attachment attachment yeah okay 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 about attachment I used to get attached uh, not to everyone, but um, like just one or two friends, okay? Uh, and I think the fact that I've got siblings help also because you are more, not open-minded, but you're like, I don't know, when you are the only child I think it's not the same way of yeah. thinking. By know? the way, I'm not an only child. I have a no, no, younger yeah, yeah. brother, but yeah. because I said that. I, yeah. Um. So yeah, and I, I, I've, I've. Oh my God! One, two, three. I've got experienced something hard in my life uh, regarding friendships and stuff like that. Uh, I was 13, and so just after that, for I don't know, from my 14 
yeah, foreign years mm -hmm. to, let's say, during high school, uh, I was like, no, yeah, uh, you're my friend, great. But when I'm at home, like, really, you were like, you were that yeah. kind of person, like, because I was like, uh, I don't, I don't want to experience it again. Okay. And so, yeah, protecting myself again. Uh, at, at the beginning it was simple because I can't remember what I've, I've been through. And so it was like, I don't want to, you know, I just want to yeah. be alone. Uh, but, um, because I'm human, I've got emotion, you know? <laughs> you do? <laughs> yeah, I, I have. Uh, and so, um, and so it's not that simple to, and then right now I'm 19 and I get attached very, very easily, uh, with not, not everyone, but, uh, if you're nice to me, that's great. Nice and funny and respectful. That's it. See, that's the thing I don't understand because yeah. even if you're nice and I don't know, I know what did you say? Funny and respectful. Funny and respect. Yeah. For me, it's the how can I say that? The basic things. Yeah, the basic, the basic things. Yeah. Like, not everyone is funny, by the way. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, respecting people. No, basic. yeah. But I need to mention because yeah. I don't know. In twenty twenty one, not everyone uh, has this. Yeah. Respectful vibe. So, but also, I think uh, I'm really sorry for that noise again. That is my yoga ball. Um, I think. When you grow up, uh, you tend to have uh, higher expectations from people and you know what you want. Mm. Like you kind of figure figure out what kind of person you are and what do you want in a person as a friend or you're not, like as a significant other, for example. So the, the more you grow, the more it's going to it's going to be complicated to get attached because mm. the more you're picky. The thing is, I get attached to almost everyone I met who is, as I said, respectful, nice and yeah. stuff like that. But it's not the same attachment that I have for my friends, um, which means I'm not like, especially because of COVID-19 and the fact that we can't see each other. We can't have new friends because it's really complicated. Yeah. Um, it's not the same time, you know, it's easier to get attached because you have been to in your house for months and then you meet some people and I don't know, it's even more impactful for me. Um, so yeah, I'm not, when I say attached, I'm like, I don't know how to, th to say that, but it's not the same way to be attached to someone you just met than to someone than to your you friend. Knew, yeah, for a long time. Yeah, exactly. But I'm not gonna lie. When I met someone, it's been I don't know a month. I'm not gonna lie. They they I, I've get I've got like feelings and uh, yeah. yeah okay <laughs> you get it <laughs> I get it. But that's why I'm really interested in how in um, how our generation is going to be yeah. in four or five years because of all of that happened in the world. Because, I don't know, things were like messy, messed up, and then it changed, it changed everything. Yeah. Changes, sorry, everything. Like some people that were extroverted became introverted. Some people that were introverted became extroverted and yeah. And because of social media, again, uh, we you... have an episode on that. <laughs> you are connected to everyone, anywhere, any, 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 ula, anytime, ula. I was French. Anytime you want. So if you get in touch to everyone, you get in touch with no one. Okay, no, but you get it. You know, if you, I don't know, I can understand why some people um can feel alone you know because like you talk to so many people that now you don't just don't know oh. to how to choose the right one to make connection exactly and i have uh you know i just ask you if you were scared to be attached to get attached whatever 
Um, I do. I do because uh, I think it's a weapon. Oh. Know? Like, not for you, just for... For the other person. Yeah, exactly. Because um, I know not everyone is mean, but uh, I don't know, you know, just to be attached, it means that you take the risk to be hurt. Oh, that's the... But see, that's because you experience re a toxic relationship that yeah. you think like that. Because I don't really think like that, yeah. actually. It's just that <laughs> I realized that people were dying, you know? <laughs> no, no, but for real. I don't think like you because it's just my... I think it's just my personality. Like, I take time. It's ta it takes time for me to get attached. But I'm not going to think oh, this person is going to hurt me. I know in the back of my head that some people will. And not everyone is, you know, great to you and good to you. But yeah, it's because you've been through so much things that you think like that right now. And the pandemic, yeah, like, uh, add something to your personality and how you react to other people. And that's why... My question is, um, if they they were not they was not sorry COVID nineteen, how our generation would be right now, and how would you be right now? I guess we never know. <laughs> you got the reference or not? I'm going to link. <laughs> like I'm not linking. I'm going to edit and make the. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. <laughs> anyway, so that was a TikTok reference. Yeah, I'm going to put it. Um, but that is my question. And I'm really asking like myself, how would I be if there were not the pandemic and all of, the, that, all of this that happened? That's, that's a real question. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm honest. Yeah. I guess we never know. Because I yeah. think it's really something that we all experience once. And I hope it's just once. You know, uh, once for us, young people, once for our parents, grandparents, probably. And, and, and yeah, I, I, I think COVID-19 for us, young people, also for everyone, but especially when you're 19, 20, 21, whatever, COVID-19 is really shaping us, mm. our personalities. Yeah. Um, and so, I don't know, I, I know, everyone knows that we're not going, we're not going out, no, we're not, we are not going to be out of this pandemic. Anytime uh, soon? No, but like in the same way, like we, we, oh, okay. we would have changed in our mind. Uh, exactly. Uh, so yeah, it did affect me uh, for social relationships um because yeah because you you've met no one actually uh you you are personal personal oh in my opinion <laughs> uh, uh when i s speak to someone it's really great because i miss that it's it's kind of dumb i know but um i miss just talk to to someone and to learn to to oh my god socialize yeah thank you it's friday i'm tired so that was the first question i guess for this episode and the second one is like actually you've answered this one is have you ever experienced an emotional attachment that has been toxic for you, you you've talked about that yeah um when i was 13 in uh, this year or two because as i was saying covid 19 I, n not that I talk to everyone, but I'm like, I need to talk, I need to, oh, social relationships, you know? Um, so sometimes you will have relationships with bad people and you realize it when it's too late, uh, which, which means like you have something like you, you, your friends or something like that. And then you realize that was not someone for you uh but you enjoy 
but it's too late, so you have to take distance. Yeah. Is that even correct? I don't know. Take distance. Have like a distance, have a step distance yourself. Yeah, have a step back. Um so yeah, I think it's 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 the worst worst thing when you realize that someone in your life that you see every day every day or not every week often uh, maybe you live with him or her um it's a toxic relationship and you have to be strong because you not strong in the way that you have to be with that person but you have to be strong to get detached exactly and that is my next question Ooh. so if you know that person like if you know that this person is uh, i don't know uh making making you feel bad or the relations that relation that you have uh with her or him <laughs> <coughs> is bad yeah why don't you get like why don't you distance yourself what 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 is always holding you back from doing that uh, because I think, like, most of the important decision, you have to clear your mind. Oh. And, and like, you have to, you know, it's all in your mind. So, even if you know it's not the right person, you you have memories with her or him. And again, you're like, okay, it's not for me, but I don't know, I'm like that, you know. I'm not. That's why I don't understand. Yeah, and also, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. I think you have in French. It's le déclic. Actually, I learned this word yeah. um, this week, but I don't. I can't remember. Oh, okay, it, so... great. That's a good thing. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna search it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, to answer what you were saying, I think you really need to realize yourself that you. What is the I think you need to realize the trigger. The... Trigger? Trigger. It's like a déclencheur. All right. It's as a ASMR trigger. I learned this word by ASMR because I watch ASMR and I'm a <laughs> weird person. Sorry guys. Uh yeah. I'm just going to continue. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh so I think you in every situation uh, when you're in a bad one, especially, you need to realize yourself. Even if people are telling you that it, it is bad what you're doing or what you're, what you're getting yourself into, if you, that's why also my par, that's another story. But yeah, um, that's why my parents they when I was younger they let me do things that was um, not bad for me, but you know I don't know. Let me touch. Uh, I did not do that, but let me touch the fire to see that it was burning, you know, yeah. that that's a metaphor. But yes, Leslie, you need to, I know, but like, you just need to realize it yourself. The, the thing is, you realize that yeah. it is bad for you, but you so just I'm don't just do dumb. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. Uh, no, <laughs> I think also uh, when I changed my behavior, I was 13. All right. So yeah. just after what happened and so it was really recent and now i'm 19 you know i'm kind of old uh, <laughs> so what am i <laughs> um so i don't know just i i know i need to focus on myself when these things happen yeah but i think the crisis that we are currently experiencing experience Yep. experiencing yeah yeah uh, <laughs> um change a lot of things in my mind not necessarily in a good way um yeah because i don't know maybe as for most of people i feel i felt kind of love lonely not lovely lonely <laughs> so it's not a good thing but because i was lonely i, I was trying to be surrounding by a lot of people mm -hmm. but when as i was saying when you have a lot of people in your life you kind of lose yourself exactly and it's not always the right people you just like i i want a lot of people not the right people and so but i realize it and 
And yeah, I, I don't have the end of the story, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I don't have the end of the story. But it's okay, I think. It's just like you... But yeah, I was, I was uh, sorry for that yeah. again. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, I think you have to have a trigger in your mind. Like, really, Something not just... that's going to click. Yeah, not just realizing it, but... Um, Take action. Again, Sorry. action. Yeah. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, time also. So if you guys are, if you did, sorry, are in this kind of situation, I think you just need to take time, reflect on the whole situation, and then take action. Even if it can be hard, people are here to help you. You have friends, you have family to help you. So it is not like you're never going to get out of it. Yeah. You never think like that. You're going to get through that and yeah. Be stronger than ever. Uh, I also want to talk about, you know, um, having affection for someone who didn't have for you. Like not just a relationship, like love thing, but also friendships. Sometimes I met people and I was like, ew. <laughs> they were like that no 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 towards you no not okay let me finish i was like no but you you can't see my face because i got mad but you yeah. that's a great friend okay. like I, that could be a great friend and so i talk but it's just me doing efforts and not them oh. and so it's like okay um and so i was not attached but sad that um, kind of lost that person. Yeah, because I know that could be a good friend. A good friend. Yeah. But it's not. Uh, uh, yeah. I never got this, especially uh, uh, except sorry, not especially except um when you go on vacations. Like I went to the West Indies and I met those two twins that were super friendly with twins me. Twins uh, are often too, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I met these twins and uh, at first we were like speaking crazy together but then over the time you know we kind of like uh, distance ourselves but I'm, I'm still in touch with them. So in my personal life, never got, I don't think, no. Uh, I do, uh, but never got I've that, yeah. learned to let things go. Exactly. Let people go, not things, sorry. People things, are not things. People, whatever. And just accept the fact that it was maybe not the right person or it, wa it was the right, but not at the right time, you know? Yeah, I also tend to believe that when people come and go out, out of your life, it's just for a reason. Yeah. And you need too. to learn something from each person that comes into your life. Exactly. And I don't like, you know, forced uh, friendship. Yeah. So at the beginning, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do some efforts maybe it's not a good week for him or her mm -hmm. but then i say but then oh but then i say okay let them go um so yeah that's why i've learned by uh by this kinds of relationship the next question <laughs> what is the next question is um why are we so scared of being attached to someone and on the contrary, why are we so scared of being detached? Yeah, lack of interest, like, whatever. You I know. think we already talked about the attachment, so let's talk about the detachment. Yeah. And I think the detachment is the same reason as attachment. It's like not protecting yourself, but that is a fear, I think, of what you're going to lose with that person, even if you already made memories. Person, that's what I think. That's from what I've... I have observed around me. That's what I'm. I, I think. But um, maybe you have another explanation to that. I have a story. Story. My time. story. Dun, 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 dun. I'm um, going to put a song. <laughs> so um, this past eight weeks, I was doing an internship, and uh, at the beginning, not at the beginning, during the entire internship, colleagues were really really nice for real but at the end at the end i was 
kind of sad to end my internship because it was uh i'm gonna say something but like a second family but not in the hard way you know yeah just like, like... we were together we were together again, uh, again. um so yeah and so i was attached and i'm still is uh and i'm still am oh uh <laughs> and um the fact that i am scared of being of detachment for these people is just because i know i finished my internship so i'm scared of being replaced by oh, that's another thing another person and i'm like okay so uh, uh i'm leaving and someone is going to replace me um and so yeah i'm kind of scared it's also lack of confidence i'm not gonna lie because if you think like that it means that you don't have confidence and you want up in other opinions matter for you but yeah um i remember thinking about like in two months uh when someone won't remember uh, of me so yeah sorry we're just cracking my and so i realized because i realized it very soon like three or four weeks of internship and i was doing things just for people appreciate me and uh uh impact impact uh their life yeah kind of um it's it's not the good thing you know but uh i did <laughs> you seem so sad like yeah you, because like, when i realized I i'm, I'm kind of sad for me you know i'm <laughs> like, like why that's not me but you're like but i what did i just do but, but I, I realize it and the fact that i love um love uh oh my god um analyze not just other that, behavior yeah. but mine yeah and I was like, so I did all of this just to impact people. And not for, for yourself. Exactly. No, I did it for myself. But, you know, the little voice in my head. Um, and so for not for people that they... Oh my god. Not forget me. Okay, you get it. People not forget me. Bing, boom. <laughs> um, so what do I think of that? Um, that's dumb. That is very, very sad, I think. But the fact that you realize it is great because now you you get to work on that, and uh, like never do never oh my god never yeah never do things for being appreciated like and not you know, not being appreciated yeah, but, but because I know people uh, like liked and I still like me um, but for you know have an impact and like oh yeah. Uh, I don't know, for example, I baked a lot. I love baking, okay? But I baked a lot, and that was not usual. Yeah. And so I was this girl who baked uh, during their the okay. internship, right? And yeah, just to, you know, have a little thing uh, to remember me. I don't know, it's, it's damp, I know it, but... That's what I did. We're going to make a part two of this episode. Uh, when we will have the answer, actually, <laughs> to solve those problems. But um, it's okay, you know, like... It's lack of confidence. And... I thought you were going to say other things again. Because you are done. <laughs> anyway, what? no. Okay. And uh, But like... don't be... Okay, yeah. sorry. Don't be scared of being forgotten. Yeah, know, because you are you, and no one can replace you. Ooh, it it it's, it sounds cheesy. It reminds me of the. It it the... sounds cheesy, yeah. But um, that's true. I mean, if people forget you, they have to see a doctor because. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't know if you ever seen the movie uh, In and Out, Inside Out. Sorry. No. Um, In and Out. That's another that's... thing. <laughs> 
inside out. I think you did, but uh, the in French it is called vice versa. No, I... you've never no. you've never seen this no. movie. Okay, we need to watch it together then, because uh, you have this character called Bing Bong. I don't know if this is his real name in English, but in the French version it is, and it is the imaginary friend of the of the girl. And at the end, he's really scared because he's getting forgotten. But then he makes, I think he makes a comeback. And it means that still, even if you're like in the back of the mind of someone, you're still, you're still there. So yeah, just like Leslie, Leslie said, I'm having trouble to pronounce her name today. Don't be scared to be replaced because um, again, it's, it is, it is your life. And like, even if people are there, you are living with you again. So yeah. And the, th the truth, the truth is, um, uh, I know I will be replaced because there is one of my friends is doing an internship in internship in the same um, department. Not department. I forgot the word. That's the most important word in our um, work. studies. But yeah, uh, entreprise. Company. Company. Thank you. Um, and the same company so and she will do the same thing as i did and so i know i will be replaced and when i think about it i tend to oh my god that's not good but okay we are together so you will know myself in the good and bad way and so i tend to um compare myself to her and like oh yes yeah, so my colleagues are going to love this part of her and they are going to love this part of me but they will prefer this part of her and you know i tend to overthink things actually yeah but that's me that's me that's me stop doing that yeah i know I but that's my say, brain that shit, but okay. yeah 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 talk to my part. brain talk to my brain <laughs> uh, <doing> that shit, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so i know i will be replaced and i think it's even worse because i know by who i know uh, when uh so yeah and it's a good friend by the way she's amazing better things are coming for you no worries i was about to say <laughs> something in french again <laughs> uh, so the uh next question next question next question <laughs> next question come on the next question is is it this one uh it's for you, you, I think so. How do you manage to not get the Dutch to people that you play? Yeah, because Alex, it's not, it's it's the contrary of me. Yeah, um, I just, I feel like it's going, okay, it, this is our podcast. Not a many people listen to that one, so we're going to, I'm going to tell Come the on. truth. Um, I think I'm in a sort of bubble, like oh. I'm kind of in my, in my own world. I don't know. If, I think you realized that, Leslie. Yeah, I was like too, but um, I'm overthinking everything. So I'm just doing my thing, honestly. And then people come and go, and when they're there, they're there, and when they're not, they're not. Uh, that doesn't count for my family, of course. But um, I mean, if you're moving out of the country and I don't see you for like two, three years, um. I mean, you're you're in my life, of course, because I, I I can text you, but you're not there physically, so I don't like we don't get to live memories together, but that's okay, you know, like it's okay. I mean, I don't know how to explain that actually because that's just how I I am. I just work with the thing that I have now. I don't like to say that because people are not object again, but you know, I work with my the people that are around me, and then when I'm not with them, I, I work like with other things and not working because that is not a good way to express myself um, talking about other human beings. But when I say work is like, focus. yeah, focus on people when they are here and when you're not like I do, I focus, I tend to focus on other things. I don't, I don't know how to explain that. I think, <laughs> I don't know, but um, that's just how I am. That's amazing that's yeah that's just how i am and i think you i don't know um you have more control in your emotion maybe than i have maybe that's 
part of it also, maybe. Because when I feel something, I feel it, you know? When I'm happy, I'm the happiest per person. Yeah. And when I'm sad, that's the, She's sad. I'm sad, you know? I'm gonna cry. Um, it's just when I'm angry. I'm angry, but... Uh, okay, okay, you know, I'm angry. That, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tend to say, oh, I'm hangry right now. <laughs> and then Naomi's like, you're hangry, you're, you're angry, sorry, there's not an H. And I'm like, yeah, she's like, okay, but like, that's weird because you're just saying you're angry, you're not doing anything. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> what can I do? I'm just angry. But especially for um, emotions that are seen as negative, let's talk about it also. There is no negative emotions. I think so. That's my opinion. But for um, emotions that are seen negatively in our society, especially so sadness and I don't know, angry, being angry, anger, uh, anger. Yeah, I said being angry. You, know, you get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, out of this thing, I not being angry, especially for sad, being being sad. Sorry, I, I feel it. You know. And so being jealous or something, I feel it. And so maybe the fact that I'm fe I'm feeling them even more than you do uh, have impacting. yeah exactly have something. Uh... That's why we are all different, but that's okay because like you need. Uh, I don't know the expression in English. What is? Uh, it's like. You need ah, you need uh, a many personality to, to build whole. this world. Okay, yeah. we're gonna say that like that. Okay, so the last question of the, the episode is: Do you think it's better to be <laughs> attached and feel emotions deeply that as me, we were just or the me. contrary as Alex, who doesn't care about I, anything? No, I do care. I'm about joking. Things. I'm joking. I'm yeah. joking. I'm joking. I do care about music, <laughs> sleeping, no, 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 food, no. Netflix. I do care about a lot of things, that's yeah, not true. But um, yeah, we just talked about this and... Um... And that's a real question and I think no one has... The answer, actually. Yeah, and no one is agree. Uh, so how, how do you think about it? Do you think it's better to be attached and feel... There's no, there's no things better than anything. Like, everyone is different. And like, you cannot... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna answer it. I think it's better to... No, 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 let me think. It's just that. But, but, French, think, and I'm gonna answer it, and then you, okay? Think when I'm answer. It's like kicking me out of my episode two. Okay. Come on, if you want to talk, talk. No, but um, I just, I think I, I think like you. Uh, everyone is different, so there's no... Uh... I have an answer for this question, but it's my opinion. Okay, 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 so let me, okay, so... <laughs> okay. Again, let me restart that. Okay. Being attached is great, and being detached is also great, but it also has some negative impact. Just like being attached, though, I don't have a like I don't have a all black and all white answer. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but I do have an answer. Okay. What is yours? Uh, also, do you think it's better to be attached or the contrary? But the contrary is not necessarily being being detached. detached is that even the real world really like okay let's just rephrase is it better to be as me think deeply emotion or as you in your bubble uh i think it's better to be in your bubble honestly oh. because as i was saying when you feel emotions deeply and you are attached to anyone you take the risk to be heard. That's why. That is my vision, my way of thinking. And so when you are not attached, like you you are enjoying the moment with mm -hmm. your friends, with the people surrounding you, but you know how to separate things, you know? Sorry, I was drinking water. <laughs> water. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't know how to react to that, actually. So for me, it's, it's, yeah, it's not black or white, but it's better to 
I don't know. For some people, it's better to feel emotion deeply because it's better to feel than yeah. not to feel. But as a, a person who feels deeply things, um, it can be... Oh my god. I don't have the words. I think I know which one to say, but in French. Yeah. Incapacit incapacitating. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that it? It can be an unhandicap. Unhandicap. Handicap. <laughs> anyway, it can be really... Uh, you can struggle to manage all these emotions. Yeah. And you take... You, you spend more time... Sorry. You spend more time... Oh, you spend more time uh, focused on these emotions instead of focusing on the external world. That was a freaking deep podcast today. <laughs> Episode, sorry. Like... <laughs> that was a yeah that was a really deep episode and i oh, it's been a long time since we we've done that um hopefully you like this episode and we would love to hear your thought about attachment and detachment um and uh, so yeah we're going to end this one so as usual if you like the podcast you can share it <laughs> you can share it leave a review if you have the time if, and also if you have an apple because and subscribe to yeah subscribe to the podcast and the ig which is what's up dude pod it's going to be in the link of the episode and uh yeah again uh you can react to what we we've said sorry on the post we're going to make for this episode as always on the ig again what's up dude pod and thank you for listening until the end see you very soon dudes bye 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 have an amazing day or night whatever <laughs>